Why is a brand that whispers outselling those that shout? In the midst of the fashion world's loud chase for the next big trend, the row stands out with a quiet revolution. Valued at a staggering $300 million, it contradicts every trend with its philosophy of silent marketing. So what is that secret behind the row's success? And how does it captivate an audience without saying much at all? If you've seen our previous exploration of the row on our channel, you already know the origins and early days of this enigmatic brand. For those who haven't, I highly recommend checking out that video to get a full sense of how Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen transformed their celebrity into a bastion of high fashion. Now, let's get into the video. As today, we dive deeper into the fabric of the Rose continuing success. What if luxury whispered instead of shouted? This question sits at the heart of the Rose marketing philosophy. Born from the minimalist vision of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, the Rose turns the traditional notion of luxury on its head. Here, extravagance isn't flaunted with aggressive campaigns or celebrity endorsements. Instead, the brand exudes an aura of accessible exclusivity, focusing on the intrinsic quality and craftsmanship of each piece. This silent, understated approach appeals to those who seek refinement without the clamor, drawing customers who appreciate elegance that doesn't need to announce itself. Because despite its low-profile marketing strategy, the row has seen remarkable growth. Searches for the brand increased by 93% in the last three months of 2023, according to the List Index, with the Margot model bag becoming particularly coveted, showing a year-on-year -year search increase of 198%. This interest surge reflects the brand's increasing resonance with consumers who value understated luxury. Now it's really about finding what's next and what categories to explore, and it's our job to figure out what that next piece is going to be. Now, to really understand the depth of the Rose philosophy, we must look at the broader context in which this brand operates. In an era where fast fashion and over-the-top luxury are the norms, the Rose approach is radically different. By choosing silence over noise, the brand doesn't just sell clothes, it sells an ethos. Each garment embodies a commitment to lasting quality and sustainability that speaks directly to a discerning clientele tired of the disposable culture prevalent in much of the fashion industry today. The Rose marketing is as much about what is not done as what is done. There are no splashy runway shows, no advertisements plastered across billboards or in glossy magazines. The absence of overt marketing piques curiosity and creates an exclusive narrative that only those in the know can access. This strategy not only enhances the allure of the brand, but also aligns perfectly with the growing consumer desire for brands with authenticity and integrity at their core. How does a brand remain desirable? without the typical fanfare. The Rose strategy is a lesson in restraint and precision. Instead of seasonal splashes and fast fashion turnovers, it builds anticipation and loyalty through rarity and a consistent focus on high quality. Limited edition releases and highly curated collections ensure that each item is perceived as a collectible piece of art. Furthermore, the row shuns the typical digital marketing blitz. Instead, it opts for a low-key social media presence that maintains an air of mystery, enhancing the brand's allure. By choosing where and how it speaks, the row amplifies its voice through scarcity and silence, making each communication a moment of impact. The Rose strategic decision to limit its output and focus on exclusivity not only creates a high demand for its products, but also aligns with a broader cultural shift towards valuing quality over quantity. This approach has resonated deeply in a market saturated with mass-produced goods and endless new collections. By releasing fewer pieces, the row ensures that each item receives more attention and appreciation, both from the craftsmanship perspective and the consumer engagement standpoint. This scarcity-driven strategy extends beyond product releases to include how the row engages with the media and its audience. Rather than constant updates and ubiquitous advertising, the row's communications are sparse and deliberate. Each release, event, or piece of news is carefully timed to maximize impact and maintain the brand's aura of exclusivity. This controlled scarcity of information contributes to a halo of mystique around the brand, making each interaction with the market a significant and newsworthy event. While the Rose strategic silence in marketing brilliantly sets the stage, it is of course ultimately the exceptional quality and design of the products themselves that solidify the brand's esteemed reputation. At the row, every stitch speaks to our philosophy, Ashley Olson said. The brand's commitment to impeccable craftsmanship is not merely a marketing slogan. It's the cornerstone of their philosophy. 
Mary-Kate and Ashley Olson have fostered a design ethos centered around perfection in simplicity. From the iconic, perfectly tailored blazer to the meticulously crafted leather handbag, each item is designed with an obsessive attention to detail. This obsession extends to the choice of fabric, the fit, and the timeless design, ensuring that each piece transcends seasonal trends. The rose approach to fashion is akin to haute couture in its precision, yet it remains deeply wearable, blending luxury with everyday practicality. This paradox of simplicity coupled with luxury is what sets their products apart, making them not just purchases, but investments in a lasting wardrobe. In delving deeper into the Rose product ethos, it's clear that the Olsen's background in the entertainment industry, coupled with their sharp eye for fashion, has significantly influenced their meticulous approach to design. Each collection is a testament to their ability to balance artistic expression with commercial viability. Furthermore, the choice of materials at the row underscores their commitment to quality. Luxurious fabrics sourced from the finest mills around the world are chosen not only for their aesthetic appeal, but also for their functionality and durability. The rose design process involves a deep understanding of how materials perform over time, ensuring that every garment maintains its shape and texture through repeated wear. This attention to material science and fabric longevity is central to the brand's philosophy and is reflected in the final product's ability to withstand the test of time. The design team at The Row also emphasizes fit and comfort, tailoring each piece to feel as good as it looks. This meticulousness extends to ensuring that seams are strong, linings are seamless, and closures are both functional and discreet. Such dedication to the minutia of fashion design not only enhances the wearer's experience, but also cements the rose reputation as a purveyor of high quality goods. A lot of the silhouettes that you see start because of the drape of the fabric. The design process usually starts through a conversation. It's a collaboration. We look at fabrics. We sort of have an idea of silhouettes we're feeling separately. We talk about it, but also keeping in mind our customer. Each piece is crafted with an expectation that it will be a key component in the wearer's wardrobe, versatile enough to be styled in multiple ways, and robust enough to remain in pristine condition. Lastly, the visual identity of the Rose Collections speaks to a sophisticated understatement that resonates with a clientele that values discretion over ostentation. In an industry often dominated by loud logos and conspicuous consumption, the Rose understated aesthetic offers a breath of fresh air. This design philosophy not only reflects the personal tastes of the Olsons, but also offers a critique of the broader fashion industry, proposing an alternative model of luxury that is quiet, considered, and intensely personal. While the Rowe has experienced substantial growth and success, like any other brand, it has not been without its challenges. The brand has navigated significant obstacles, including restructuring during the pandemic that led to layoffs and a strategic shift in production from the U.S. to Italy, sparking debates about the brand's commitment to domestic manufacturing. Despite these hurdles, the Olsons have maintained a focus on sustainable growth, targeting a 20% to 30% increase annually while emphasizing their mature business acumen in a rare interview, shedding the remnants of their former child star personas. The Rose silent marketing strategy and its dedication to quality have not only redefined what luxury can look like, they have also set new standards within the fashion industry. It paved the way for the rise of quiet luxury across the fashion industry. This movement towards understated elegance has been embraced by several other brands that champion similar values. Bottega Veneta is known for its discreet marketing and luxurious, logo-free design, aligning closely with the Rose ethos. Maison Margiela, under the creative direction of John Galliano, continues to influence the luxury market with its enigmatic presentations and commitment to artisanal quality. Similarly, Celine, especially during Phoebe Philo's tenure, became synonymous with minimalist, high-quality fashion that spoke softly, but made a significant impact. These brands, like The Row, attract a sophisticated clientele that values subtlety and sophistication over ostentatious display and influencing a shift towards sustainability and quality. The row continues to lead by example, 
proving that in fashion, sometimes the quietest statements are the most powerful. The silent approach of the row not only defines its brand identity, but also cements its customer base and drives market growth. Unlike brands that rely on constant, high-volume marketing, the row builds relationships with its customers through exclusivity and exceptional quality, creating a loyal following that returns season after season. This loyalty is nurtured by the brand's ability to transcend fleeting fashion trends, offering pieces that become staples of personal wardrobes. The rarity and understated elegance of each collection encourage customers to view their purchases as long-term investments rather than temporary indulgence. Financially, this strategy has proven immensely successful. The row has seen a steady increase in demand, with significant spikes in search interest and sales volumes, especially in markets that value durability and timeless style over fast fashion's rapid consumption cycles. This growth trajectory is supported by the brand's strategic retail partnerships with high-end boutiques and luxury department stores globally, ensuring that it remains at the forefront of the luxury market while maintaining its elusive allure. The Rose approach to luxury through silence and minimalism has its share of critics. The stark reality is that while the brand champions understatement, its prices scream exclusivity. For many, the high cost of the Rose products, ranging from hundreds to thousands of dollars for what are often regarded as basic staples, seems disconnected from their functional value. This has sparked intense debate over whether such pricing is justified, even for luxury goods. Critics argue that charging exorbitant prices for minimalist designs, no matter the quality, can feel like a slap in the face to practicality and broader accessibility. This elitist pricing strategy not only narrows the brand's customer base to the very affluent, but also risks alienating a younger, more value-conscious demographic who might admire the brand's aesthetic, but hold back at the impracticality of its prices. Our biggest concern is, you know, our customers, and, you know, we, we definitely do a lot of research. There's a lot of brands that you can recognize when you look at the product, what it is, and I think the fact that it's understated. It's not a trend. It's not a trend-based brand. Um, it's really about what these women want to be wearing every day. Looking ahead, the row stands on a firm foundation of established brand principles and a solid market presence. However, the ever-evolving fashion industry, coupled with increasing global concerns about sustainability and ethical practices, poses both challenges and opportunities for the brand. The Row is well positioned to lead the charge in promoting more sustainable luxury fashion practices, potentially expanding its influence beyond apparel to include lifestyle products that align with its ethos. Moreover, as digital marketing becomes even more nuanced and sophisticated, the Row may find new ways to engage with its audience, enhancing its silent marketing approach while staying true to its core values of discretion and quality. The brand's ability to adapt while maintaining its identity will be crucial as it navigates the future landscape of luxury fashion. With a continued commitment to quality and a steady expansion into new markets and product lines, the Rose future looks not only promising, but also likely to redefine luxury for the next generation. What are your thoughts on the row, and do you have any of their items in your wardrobe? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Till next time.